Okay, hello everybody. Back again, and we're working on this website project. And I want to reiterate a couple of things because some people are having a really tough time with the whole idea of this website. Is that your website can be whatever you want it to be. It can look however you want it to look, and it can be um, different than what I did, obviously. Um, so all you need is some motion tweened elements. All right. So I called this a sprite. A sprite is anything that's on the stage that moves. So this is our stage, and this is my website also, right? But on the stage, anything, anything that moves is a sprite. So this character, who um, motion tweens up, is a sprite. And this character right here, that fades in and scales in, and mo basically motion tweens in, this is also a sprite, OK? And then this logo that rotates and moves into position is another sprite. So right now, I have um, three sprites on my stage, OK? I've got one, two, three. And, um, and, and they're all just different elements. Now, do you need to have a character like a person on your stage? Not necessarily. Do you need to have um, the page that where you're going to have your text? Yes. And do you need to have a logo? Yes, you do. So you just need different elements that move in across the st stage. It could be um, any kind of images. Just You need basically three images. The other thing that I want to point out is my images um, also have um, filters on them. So this is a movie clip. And if you look, the movie clip um, will have a filter on it. Let's see here if that's the case. In this case, it doesn't. This one does. If you click on this one, you'll see that I have a filter down in the property window. A glow filter is on the movie clip. And what I can do is also on this one, this page element, I can also add filters. And there's going to be an assignment where you're going to have to put filters, use filters with your website. So get ready to use those. OK, so that's it. And then the other thing I've got is some background elements. I've got a picture back here in the background folder that, has, uh, that was a bitmap that was traced into a vector image. Right? And that's this one right here. OK, let me unlock it. This one right here was a uh, bitmap image that was traced into a vector image. And then behind it, I've got another movie clip that is a linear gradient that animates back and forth. So I've got two things in the background. So uh, if you want to talk about how many sprites are on the stage, I've got one oscillating um, uh, linear gradient. I've got two, another sprite that's this picture. It doesn't move or anything, but it's there. I've got uh, this page element sprite, the character sprite, and the logo sprite. All of these things basically come into existence, and then we get to our home page. And on our home page, we see the word home here, and we've got some text here. Okay. Right now, we're going to add the code that's going to make this whole thing work. So to do that, I'm going to need another layer. So I make another layer on top, All right, right here. OK, and I'm going to need to put some keyframes on this layer. So I made a new layer. I'm going to name this layer Actions. This is for my scripting that I'm going to use that's going to basically control the movie or control the website. And I'm going to put one when this, after this logo pops in, this is where I'll put my first one. Keyframe right here, I hit F6. Also, I'm going to put one right above the Home label, F6, the About label, the Gallery label, and right above the contact label, and right above this video label. So I've got keyframes on a new layer that match. And basically what I want to do is, on the home, about, gallery, contact, and video, I need to put stop actions to stop our movie so that we stop at the home page. And then we're going to make buttons that will jump to the about page, the buttons will jump to the gallery page, and the buttons will jump to the contact in the video. So what you want to do is click on that empty keyframe, not both of them, just the one on the Actions layer. And you want to open up your Actions window. So you're going to go to Window, Actions, or F9. And it's going to open up this Action window. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so you can see it. OK, there it is. And in the Actions window, it's like any, it's a floating panel, but you can drop it in and put it inside and all that stuff. You know, you could drag and drop it and in, insert it into these little floating pallets if you want to. I'm going to make the text bigger by going here. You don't need to do this. I'm going to go to Preferences and make the font size large so you can see it. 
Okay. Click OK. So now the font size big so you can see it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to once again make sure that I've clicked on this keyframe, right? When I've done that, it, when I uh, and I put the actions in, this needs to say actions frame, okay? And that's really important because if I click on an item on the stage like the word home, actions no longer says actions frame, right? And the other thing that I you need to make sure is is that we're working with action script 1 and 2.0. Now, if you haven't changed your document yet to action script 1 and 2.0, then this will probably say action script 3. And we don't want that. We want action script 1 and 2.0. So to properly set ourselves up for action script, we're I'm going to go to file publish settings. I'm going to go to Flash, Publish Settings, and I'm going to make sure that ActionScript version is set to 2.0. Now, this is an easier version of ActionScript that is going to be a lot easier to work with when we're first learning. We could always change it to 3.0 later. Uh, Richard Shoup, Rich Shoup is going to work with ActionScript 3.0, so maybe we will change it to 3.0 in a bit, but uh, right now 2.0 is easier, so we work with that. So I got that set to 2.0. Click OK. So now in the Actions window, you should see Action Script 1.0 and 2.0. And then what I'm going to do is once again click on that empty keyframe. Now in the Action Script window, it should say Actions Frame. And I'm going to type STOP stop, then an open parentheses, a closed parentheses, and a semicolon. Okay, and what that's going to do is, is it's going to stop the movie right on that frame. Now you can see there's a little A there for action script that's on that frame. And now what I can do is I can go to the next one and open the window and do the same thing. Stop, open and close parentheses, and a semicolon. And I can do that for each one. Okay, stop, open and close parentheses. And it's good to get in the habit of doing that. The other thing you could do is you could also right click on this keyframe, copy frames, and then right click where you want to go, and paste frames. And I'll do that here, and paste frames. So now I have an A on each one of these keyframes, which will stop the movie at the individual frames. And if I hit Control Enter, you'll see now there's my movie. That pops up, page pops up logo comes in and we stop right here at the home page. It says home, welcome to my Yellowstone winter trip website. Right? And I've stopped the action right there. Now once again, your website can look however you want it. You just need to have three items animating to begin with and you need to have the background elements that I talked about except you can make them look however you want. And if you have ideas, let me know and I'll help you make them. Okay, so now we have our stop actions in place. The next thing to do is add some buttons that will jump us from the, to the different um, and jump the playhead so that it stops on the different um, pages. And what I mean when I say page, what I mean is a keyframe where there's text. So I'm going to look at each one of these frame labels. When the playhead goes to one of these frame labels as a separate page on the website, it's all within the Flash Movie, but we're going to treat each frame label each uh, keyframe where there's a frame label as a separate page. Why? Because there's separate content that's going to be on those pages. Right Here it's just the different text. Okay, we'll see you in the next movie when we make our buttons.